What is up guys, welcome back to another video, right, so today we've got a bit of an autumn clothing try-on haul for you. It's definitely coming into that season now, autumn, fall, it's darker, it's a little bit colder, so we've got a big ASOS try-on haul. Let's get into it, if you do enjoy these videos, drop them a like, let's crack on. It's definitely jumper, knitwear, jacket season now, so we've got a few different things. We're going to start off with this overshirt, which is from ASOS Design in like this khaki colour. So we've got the khaki overshirt jacket. ASOS design, £28, and I'm wearing a size extra large. Most of the stuff here will be large or extra large, just depends if it's oversized or not. I'm six foot two and around £205 at the minute. This is a nice fit. We're just wearing a sulfur sample tee underneath. Yeah, I quite like this. It's not too tight, not too loose. It's quite long in length, I'll give you I'll give it that, but it's got like a tailored hem. Bit of a curved hem. They, they do it in loads of different colours as well. So if you don't really like this colour, Go and have a look on the website. I'm sure they've got like black, navy, grey. I think it looks quite nice in olive. Olive khaki is like a nice colour for autumn, I feel. So next up, we've got this jacket from River Island. This one is a bit more expensive, £45. And it's in a size large. So they didn't have extra large in stock. I had to get the large. On the website, say, it definitely looks more of a brown colour. Whereas in person, it looks more of like a, a camel colour, if you know what I mean. Like a very pale brown. It's actually quite a nice fit. It feels like a denim jacket, to be honest. Feels very similar to like a Western denim jacket, like a Levi's denim jacket. Not sure I'd call it an overshirt, but quite like the fit. I think the extra large would probably be too big for me. It's a nice length, a nice like slim tailored fit without being too tight. Yeah, I quite like it, you know. It's definitely like the trendy colour for autumn. Like these neutral tones and stuff are definitely in for the autumn fall. Moving on to another item now, so this is from Pull and Bear, Varsity Jacket, size extra large, £45.99. I'm digging this, you know, like, I know it's something a little bit different, Varsity isn't my usual style. I'm trying to put my hand in the pocket there, but it's like it's got no pocket. You can see me there trying to mess about with that. It's like the pockets are stitched up. That's a bit strange. Hmm, maybe you can just unstitch them, that is a bit weird. I always, it's just like my natural thing to do, you know, put your hands in the pockets, but... Apart from that, I feel like the fit is really nice. Size extra large. You know, you get a lot of varsity jackets which are just massive and dead oversized and it's not for me that, but yeah, it fits really good, this one. I do really like it, it's got some colors, a few varsity designs, it's not too loud. Black and white's gonna go with literally everything. The quality for 45 99 isn't too bad as well. Like, sometimes you're paying 150, 200 for a varsity jacket and yeah, it's gonna be better quality, but if you're not gonna wear it loads, one from Pull and Bear, Bershka, places like that are gonna do you just fine, even Zara as well. Another jacket, this one is from River Island again. I'll tell you what, this is super, super lightweight. Like if it's still quite warm where you are, this one could be the one, but at the minute this is so lightweight, it's like paper thin. Um, yeah, extra large is a little bit too big for me as well, maybe a large would be better. It's quite long in the body. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. All the other stuff so far has been decent, but this, Hmm. I'm not sure. The colour, not a huge fan of. The fit isn't great. Also, one thing as well, so it's got press studs. You see there? But then it's also got buttons. So, like, two are buttons and then one's press stud. Bit of a strange design. Not really for me, this. So, this kind of thing is definitely an autumn essential. But, I'm not quite sure on it. So, it's from Bershka, 25 99 size extra large, quarter zip sweatshirt. It has pockets at the side, which, yeah, I'm not really sure. It kind of makes it look dead wide here. So if you've got wide hips, if you're a person like me who's got wide hips, it's not going to look great there. Like, it just makes you, makes me look like a fucking apple. Do you know what I mean? Or even a pear, which is not great for me. Um, the quality as well is definitely not as good as some of the Bershka sweatshirts, and it's definitely not as good as that Bershka hoodie. I thought we had it there, but... Somewhere else, like that Bershka hoodie I had, the quality was well nice, whereas this isn't as smooth, not as soft. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of it, I like the aesthetic of it, but I think there's just probably better ones out there. I need to try one some like Cos, Arquette, one's a little bit more expensive, even uh, Reese as well. Yeah, we're just matching it with a Sulfit Premium T-shirt underneath, which I think layering it looks quite nice, but it's just not the best quality and not the best fit, not the best design for me. Again, I'm not sure about this. So I really like long sleeved polo shirts, like knitted. This is from Only and Sons, £28. But the fit is just clingy, like proper clingy. 
I don't know if it's this fabric or the, the collars are just flimsy as well. Yeah, it's just not for me this. Like it's very skin tight and I've got a size extra larger. It's just, it's not a great fit to be honest. Yeah, it's not for me. I do really like this style, but ones from Arn and Reese, plated cos, places like that are definitely much better. This is, this is poor, this is a weak effort. So I also picked up some pants from Bershka and I saw these on ASOS, I thought, these look class, these are what I need, like a pleated pair of trousers, but smart trousers, they've got an elasticated waistband, so it's gonna be a bit, a bit of extra comfort in there as well, like they're not gonna be rigid. Um, I tried them on, and they're just, they're just a strange fit, so I went large and extra large, I got both to see which ones fit better, and the extra large are too big, and the large are too small, it's typical, do you know what I mean? So the problem with them is like, they're very tight across the upper thigh, the upper legs on me. I know I have got bigger glutes, I, I go on about this, I preach to the choir a lot about this, but I always have bigger glutes and they feel tighter on there. But then the crotch on these is quite dropped as well, which is very annoying. I kind of hate it when, when the crotch is low because they're just uncomfortable to wear. I feel like there's no range of motion. You can't like, do you know what I mean? Move about. Whereas these pants I've got on here, these are like a new smart essential trouser I've been working on for Sulfur and the stretch in them. They've got belt as well, belt loops, so you can wear a belt with them. And they've got an elasticated waistband, so kind of a two in one. These will probably be dropping towards like the end of October time, before Black Friday. Um, but yeah, I've been working on a smart pair of pants. We've got jeans restocking for Sulfur in all the colors in the next couple of weeks. So keep your eyes peeled for that. All the new releases on Sulfur are selling rapid. So if you do want to get anything, a cargo jacket, utility pant, cargo pants, or even a t-shirt, go and have a look guys. You can use my code Josh Sul. It's just like my focus definitely has gone a lot more onto Sulfur these past few months. And, I do apologize if I've not been as consistent on YouTube, but with trying all these clothes on now, I kind of get annoyed at how bad some of them fit. So that's why I'm kind of creating my own clothes because I know how good they fit. Especially for guys with like bigger legs who aren't dead skinny, do you know what I mean? Like the clothes just fit perfectly. That's what Sulfa is about, it's about the fit. Um, I'm obviously gonna still keep doing these videos. I need to try different brands because I need to try Cos Arquette. Um, let us know any others you want me to try as well, any other brands you want me to do videos on. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just focusing a lot more of my attention onto Sulfur. So I might actually do like a, a full Sulfur haul, a full Sulfur outfits video. Let us know what you kind of want to see. And if you want to see like the behind the scenes of Sulfur as well, like day in the life vlog. I've not done a vlog for a while. Maybe I'll do like a, a vlog of like a clothing brand owner. If you'd be interested, let us know. But yeah, these pants, I was very excited to try them, but they're not the one. These new Sulfate ones, they're going to be the go-to for me. The final thing we picked up from this haul, another pair of trainers from New Balance, CT302, 302. On the website, I thought these look so nice. And from the side, I mean, they actually don't look bad at all. It's when you look down on them, on them like that from the top, they look like a bowling shoe. It's, very, it's a very strange design. They're actually pretty comfy, they're like a nice chunky trainer as well. But I think they're more of a women's trainer to be honest. I do think they are more of a women's shoe. Do you know what I mean? When, when you just look down on them from the top there, like the toe box is just a weird shape. Don't know why they've added this like extra material onto here. Looks a bit strange and also the tongue is made out of like some sponge material. Mesh sponge which I'm not a huge fan of. They feel pretty good on the feet, like they're kind of comfy, but not for me. I need to do an updated trainers video, you know, because some of the new ones I've seen from Axel Arigato represent Arn a class. Like I need to try them. Anyway, I think that's it. That's everything from today's haul. So guys, there we go. A bit of an autumn ASOS try on haul for you. We started off pretty good. We've got some nice over shirts and jackets there from the start. I'll link everything in the description like I usually do. But yeah, let us know what sort of videos you want to see on the channel. It helps me out when you comment like ideas and stuff because when you've been doing it for so long, you kind of like, you just kind of don't want to do the same thing over and over. But yeah, we'll have Zara videos coming, H&M videos coming. I'll try and do Cos, Arquette, any other brands. Let us know. But that's it from me today, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Take care. See you later.